Hey everyone, it's me, Jumbaro here, back again with another video. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be playing with Arsenal's car. Uh, for any of you that don't know Arsenal somehow, uh, he's a Rocket League professional, and uh, basically he's just goated. Um, he has some very cool designs, and some of those designs are the ones that I want to try out today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so some of the designs that I want to try out, we've got his uh, SSG Fennec, which is basically just SSG, uh, just a uh, basic SSG um, decal with the OEMs, Alpha Boost, and then he's also got his, um, these your bands design, I, I know that um, other pros, such as Fairy Peak, um, has, used, has used that same design, but uh, Arsenal was the first person I saw using it as a pro because I don't really watch um, EU RCS. Uh, so I thought that was, we could put that in the category as his design. First game here we've got the SSG decal. Both designs are very clean. Good save from him. Do take that boost. We don't want to be too confident on the push here, but we can be confident with that. With that from him. Oh, that's a really great touch. There we go. Decent flip reset. Kept the uh, kept the flip reset until we needed to use it to get it into the goal. It did bounce though, so it's not the cleanest. But for a ranked game, it'll do. There we go. Another great. Uh, freestyle kind of goal, just a nice little air dribble. Uh, we've got a nice little carry on that. Um, nice few touches there. Really kept that on on target and just over him. Two really great goals for us so far. He's going to be behind us trying to demo. Okay, we do get the kill. There we go, we do get the goal. And that's actually the end of uh, of game number one there. Pretty pretty quick game, um, but we just dominated. And I think that's what kind of made him a little bit hesitant when it came to, uh, came to continuing the game. We did hit a flip reset, an air dribble, and then we obviously, I think, Pushed, pushed the line, pushed over the line a bit with that demo. Here we go, game two. This is the design I'm talking about. It's a pretty clean design. I don't think I've nailed it. I think it's got anodized on the orange on the uh, on it, but that's what we've got for now. I don't really like using much anodized cars. Too shiny. Some cars I like the shine. Uh, for anyone that follows my Instagram, they will know the some of the cars that I'm talking about. The uh, the new the, the recent one that I posted, a similar blue color to what this guy's got on his car. Um, I posted uh, uh, that car was clean. I like that one, but I don't use too many anodized cars. I just prefer to keep it not too flashy, just in case it gets in my way a little bit. Which it has never done, but there's the first time for everything, so not great, not great for us to start off with. If we just wait. We knew he'd kind of throw that away. We gotta get down quick. It's not the bounce I was hoping for. I was hoping for a bounce to go up and out, so that he'd have the aerial for that. He does demo me, but we should have enough time. There we go. And there we 
go. I was going in anyway. So we just need to, just need to get that goal rather than risking him getting back to it. There we go. It's a great, great kickoff. Oh wow! Missed the mid boost. He probably does see that, so we do have to be careful. Yeah, he saw that 100%. Yeah, he definitely saw me miss the mid boost because he was so confident to play that around me. Most people would just tried the 50 there, but because I missed the mid boost and he saw that, he knew I wouldn't have had much boost to even keep up with the ball if it went behind me. I oh, missed the fake there. Got unlucky in that bump as well. We can go for the boost. Oh, we missed the boost as well. Great turn from him. We're making stupid mistakes here, just missing loads of boost. Miss just missing a lot of boost that we can't. That we can't. Uh, can't be missing. We really can't be missing some of the boost that we're missing. We really can't be doing that. Almost kind of faked him out. Make him flick. And it throws the ball away. Pushes really hard into that 50. We try and get a bump. Slow shot, not great. We need to play this back into our corner. So anyway, we're going to be able to get the boost and the ball. He does again clip me somehow. But again, he's played it too far away from him. There we go. Great play from us. Play it slow so he doesn't know what we're doing. Because if we push, we would have just popped it over him. And then from out of nowhere, we just play really fast, get a powerful shot. We can't really save that. It's kind of like an Ocali kind of play to get the power from absolutely nowhere. Don't know how I didn't manage to hit him. He's done well there. Done very well. Again, we'll take it back to our corner. He's going to try and go for that boost. Okay. Flick. Oh, a terrible flick for us. Good play. Uh, great cut again. Great turn. Great dribble in. This guy's very good at knowing how much boost I have. Which is a fantastic skill to have in ones. Bang that. Ah, uh, wasn't the best touch. Wasn't the best touch. Just realised we're playing without music. I saw him rush the backboard, so... I tried to play it past, uh, I tried to play a little touch, so it was awkward, but the touch was just a bit too weird. He could have probably pushed that. Okay, he's getting some bumps on me. Those bumps do help me get back and get boost. There we go, good save. Uh, our wave dashes are really not paying off there. Bad flick. This is not our best game. Ah, come on. Can't be missing that, man. Alright, we played terrible that game. That was a terrible game for us to be playing, but we have good games, we have bad games. We just gotta bounce back from the bad game.
We just gotta bounce back and we just gotta prove to the game that uh, we've got that strong mentality to carry on. This is game number three. Wait for that missed touch from him. Great patience from us. We just have to wait there. Wait for him to mess up his touch, hopefully. Also, if he did get the reset, then it probably would have gone over me and he would have scored, but. Great touch for us. He tried to predict where we were going so that he could demo me. Quick cut for us. What a pinch out. We can go for this boost. It's given us a little bit of time. Into a low 50. He's going to get that clear, so we've got to wait. We've got to wait here again. Give him some time. Yeah, make another bad touch. There we go. So he is, he stopped, so we didn't have to kind of rush that shot, which is good. Bang! Not quite on target, but that's fine. Doesn't always have to be on target. Oh. It's a good shot from him. We're still in the lead, but we do need to hold this lead. There's a lot of time left, so he can easily bring it back. Just make a touch, get our boost. Okay, we do get a bump on him. We do miss that touch. Great patience from us. After he got the flip reset, we have to respect the reset. Obviously, we then have we have to be really patient and wait for whenever he may use it, which is in his power. Great play from him. Lure me in, try and do a double, didn't work, and a great play around. Great counter. Ah, oh, not a great kick off from us. Might be able to. Nah. Bit too slow there, bit too slow in our recovery. It's unfortunate, it happens. Okay, that's a good bump. Oh, that's another good bump from him. He's taken all of our boost. Careless touch. We can grab this mid boost whilst he's attacking. It's great defense from us. Great shadowing. He did try and make it really difficult for us. He read his touch really nicely there, so we knew he, where he was going to go. That's a bad pop for me. He did go for the boost over the ball. But that should help him on his next play. Great flick, slow flick, just high and make it dip. Couldn't really do much there. Except for him to push me early, which probably would have worked out for him, but decided not to. Just gonna bang just down his down in his half. Just read his next touch. Should be in. There we go. It's crucial we get that shot on. A 
don't know if he has the reset. Oh, he did. Very wide, but that's fine. He took a bad shot there. I was not expecting him to spawn that side, so we had to kind of rush what we were doing. Great knowledge from us there. Uh, if, if you play a lot of ones, you'll know how 50s go. So I pushed it exactly like that because I know the board instantly go behind him because I'm blocking the entire way. The only way he can go is behind him as I'm literally dead on equal with the ball. Squishy save. It's a good squishy save. Do grab both boosts. He doesn't have much boost. He can still flick though. Or fake, which he, he did. Almost got me. Probably not the flick he was looking for. Not the flick I'm looking for either. Yeah, GG, well played. Well, that's it for <laughs> today's video, guys. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. Let me know what other players you want me to do next. They can be content creators or pros or uh, RSCS analysts. Anyone that's in the scene of Rocket League, uh, let me know who you want me to do. So let me know in the YouTube comments down below or let me know uh, in the Instagram DMs or anything. If I make another poll, let me know who you want me to do via that on Instagram. But apart from that, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks and goodbye.